Hello, um, this is Maruf again. Um, today we're gonna talk about uh, Warden, actually. Um, so PCBSD uh, has a tool called Warden, which is I have open right now. Um, that can be launched from uh, if you go to I'm using Mate, but if you use a KDE, you might have that access from the uh, desktop uh, through the uh, PCBSD control panel. So it's a gel management system. It's like a GUI-based gel management system. So it has its own GUI here. I have it open, um, and it's really easy to use. And it's like a uh, managing uh, multiple gels uh, and, and and do a lot of things with them uh, through the GUI. So if you go to the uh, Google and search for gel, you know a lot about it. It's like a container, like a uh, isolated uh, container that can run inside your OS, which can be. Uh, you know, so you can have multiple containers, multiple gels uh, on your system that can be isolated and you can run tests on those uh, or for this is very useful for hosting companies sometimes um, that, uh, you know, have multiple customers using uh, their VPS, you know, environment um, and that's really handy and then you don't need a, to have a full virtual machine uh, to support that, right? So you can use a, in a commodity hardware and, and make use of uh, gel with native, uh, you know, uh, system performance, right? So virtual machine still has the overhead, but gel has uh, a lot less. I mean, it's almost native performance, I would say. So on the Linux side, now you see a um, revolution on the on this concept as well. I think it's inspired by this gel system, um, uh, our Solaris uh, container zones, right? Uh, is, is the Docker, right? Docker and LXC, the Linux container, right? They're trying to do the same thing, similar thing, uh, almost similar goal that they're trying to achieve on the uh, on the Linux side. And it's getting really popular, and at some point, I believe, it's going to kick ass the some of the virtual machine guys, right? Uh, because you can do a lot of things, and you get better performance. The only part uh, on the Linux side is uh, challenging is the security piece yet. They're trying to sort it out, uh, and it's not ready for production yet. But FreeBSD gel is pretty mature, and it's being used by production. A lot of virtual uh, hosting companies using it, so it's worth uh, learning it and uh, kind of you know play with it. So I have this here. I have two gels here that I created, and one of them is a My MySQL server. I'm just calling it, and the other one is the web server, right? So, so if you have you know different environments, say you have a DNS server that you won't want to expose for, uh, by your system, you can have a gel and uh, and then and then create a DNS server inside that, and that way it's it, it's uh, limited inside the gel only. It's not going to expose anything outside. So, and you can manage that, manage a lot of things through gel as well. So, uh, to create a gel in in this uh, warden. You go to uh, this, uh, so, so from the control panel, before I do that, you see that icon, you double click on that and that will open up Warren. That's from the PCBSD control panel, which you can open from uh, systems, administration, and PCBSD, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm running on this on a VirtualBox VM, so performance won't be great, um, but uh, I'm just gonna go to full screen mode, okay? So here you can see I can do a power management of my gels, and I can do configure the gel, I can go configuration, I can do a lot of things. Um, change the IP address, IPv6 address, alias, I can add IPv4 alias addresses, permissions, um, a lot of things. It's just pretty rich in feature, I would say, and really impressive. Um, couldn't find anything on a Linux distribution yet, for Docker yet, hopefully they will have something similar, and that will be great then. Um, um, so, um, the first tab is the info, which gives information about the gel, right? Um, uh, and the next one is tools, where you can do package management, uh, user administration, you know, you can manage packages, you can install packages, you click on it, and it just bring up the package list, right? And you can search packages, specific packages, and install, that will be installed on the gel. Uh, user manage, user administrator, you know, you can add users to your gel, uh, remove users, and do all sorts of things. Service manager, you can see what's running on the gel, and you can, you know, start and not stop, enable them, uh, do all sorts of things, right? So you can even start it if you want it. Um, launch terminal, for some reason it's not working on the mate here. I haven't tried KDE, uh, I don't know if that's a bug, but if I click on it, it doesn't do anything. 
Oh, let me see, might do it. Oh no. Um, let's see if it opens it up. Doesn't do anything. So anyway, that might be a bug. Check for update uh, is basically, you know, check for update of your gel, right? So uh, checking updates for your gel, for this uh, particular gel, we'll close it up. And then the great thing is export gel, right? If you want to share your gel with someone else, you got, you got a specific application and you want to say you're a developer and you want to share with, uh, you know, uh, Joey, <laughs> for example, your buddy, uh, then you can do that. And then the last one, I think you can say snapshot. So you can create snapshots and so you're doing some you know, massive changes and you want to make sure you can get back in again. Then you can just click on add and that will create a snapshot and you just create a snapshot. So I can you know, restore to the snapshot and I can even schedule a snapshot uh, you know, on daily or you know, uh, hourly if I want. And I can also say how many days I can keep that snapshot. So that's pretty awesome. Um, to, um, to create a gel, you go to click on this button here, add. Give it a name, say, you know, uh, PHP box, okay? Give it an IP, so 10.0.2.102, right? So I have this system here, right? Uh, just gonna bring up a terminal here. Uh, It's running a virtual box actually, so it's not that great performance. Okay, yeah. Okay, I like bash. Uh, so this system has an IP. It's on the 10.0.2.15. So for this VM, I'm using the virtual box default NAT feature, so I'm not exposing as a uh, bridge connection. Uh, so it's all internal to, from this host. Uh, and I can give it a name, uh, so I'm gonna put the same subnet on this one. So I'm just give it an IP that I know that not being used 10.0.2.102. Uh, if you want, you can do P IPv6, uh, nothing yet. So then I by default select the traditional install the package and previous PCBSD utilities, which I will, I'll find. Uh, I can use the system default, whatever this one is using, this uh, host machine is using, same uh, jail version, kernel version. But you can choose uh, a different version, like the, their true OS, which is their server version, right? And then you can also do insecure mode, which allows you to run X applications. So if you are trying testing X application, you probably won't want that, but keep in mind that's insecure. Uh, and then the last one is Linux gel. Run Linux gel, that's still experimental. I haven't tried it, but that's freaking awesome, I would say. Uh, click on next, get a password. And then jail options, uh, please take a moment, uh, okay. So yeah, we want to include the source, but it's up to you, it's your preference. I like to include the system source, post tree, and uh, start the jail as system boot up, finish. So now it's gonna create this jail, right? So I have this jail created, two jails created, so I'm just gonna log in. So I can SSH to one of this jail uh, and see if I can log in from my host machine. Oh, actually, I actually have to create an account. I don't think I have an account. Maybe the web server has an account, I know. Let me go to the web server one. Okay, I had this uh, host before it's changed, uh, so. Let me do the MySQL one anyway. So I'm going to add my account here. Because I think I was playing with the web server and I kind of messed it up maybe. Uh, you can encrypt files, right? You can say, you know, make encrypted files for this home users, uh, this user's home directory, right? So that's pretty cool. Okay, and my can make an administrator in this case. It's me. Okay, and I'm going to close it. Uh, let's try that. Okay. 
there you go I'm there so now you know I'm in this gel right hostname MySQL right so now and I do an IPF config so the IP address is just that right so you know I can ping in Google it has internet connectivity I think yeah so there you go so that's uh, Warden uh, and I'm really impressed with this actually I'm just gonna install PCPSD on one of my physical box and then run a lot of gels and that machine cannot run uh, uh, KVM or or uh, any of the hypervisors because it doesn't have IPT support on the processor but it's still a good squad core system uh, uh, actually it's a Intel 8200 I think uh, a quad core that I bought many years five four five years back and it has 8 gig memory so I'm gonna use gel for that and have a lot of gels running there uh, to test different things so uh, there you go uh, enjoy the video and hopefully it's been helpful and if you like it uh, subscribe the video